it's a whole new world. We're, we're live. We are streaming. And we are live for the first time in a year and a half. I think they have said recording yet. They're, they, I've checked. They're recording. We are live. It's a, the new studio they've been building since before the pandemic. Well, not before the pandemic. They, yeah, I think they started doing this whole thing. They could get permits for 15 months. Well, they and tore they down the old studio before the pandemic. I, I, someone sent me a picture. That building's still there. <laughs> still there, yeah. Wow. Hope we have an exciting show for today. We're not doing it yet, are we? Yeah. What's it about? Oh, crap. I'm John Thompson. I'm John A. Vink. I'm Keith Statenfield. I'm Loretta Beavers. I'm A.J. Minnick. I'm Jennifer Sim. I'm Jim Tu. I'm Bobby Chastain. These stories tonight on John Wants Answers. Again, wow, okay. Welcome to John Wants Answers, our first live episode in like a year and a half. Sure. I think we did one in March of 2020. I'll trust you. And then they said, don't come back after this episode. Like we were the last episode they made at KMVT. You're canceled. So check your calendar. It's September 9th, 2021. Then we're live. We're streaming on Facebook. Cool. So we're going to have viewers tonight. You can, you can tweet us during the show. Tweet us at John Wants Answer. Answer. No S on the end. The S stands for COVID. <laughs> and then later in the show, we'll read your tweets and we'll have a great old time. I need to see a vaccination card. Okay. Here's mine. I have it on my phone. <laughs> Let's see. Johnson Johnson. Yeah, wow, I, you, I got you lucked Johnson, out. Johnson. I don't know what I was thinking. <laughs> All right, let me see my pictures here, if I can show it to you. You can put it in a wallet now, you know. I heard you could, but I didn't want to follow all the instructions. It sounded oh, like a lot of complicated instructions. Um, is that it? No. Is no, that, no, that's not no, it. No, that's not what it looks like at all. Is that? No, you that's should, not it. You should favorite it. I should this, have. This is going to be a This might take a long time. Going forward. Okay. Okay. You okay. take your mask off now. Yeah. Yeah. You're. I haven't seen safe. you in person in almost like a month. Three weeks or a month. Or I saw you at my play. Yeah. I was at a play. Yeah. yeah. I was Shreddy Eddie. Yeah. Good time you that was. It. Ask <laughs> you about it sometime. <laughs> All right. Well, we had, we have uh, a this, terrible this thing happened, and we're not going to talk about it at all. Like we're never going <laughs> to mention COVID again. <laughs> Hopefully not. If we have to mention it again, that means bad things you? continued. Yeah. I heard news about ABBA. Our first topic, ABBA. Wait, where's the piano guy? Where's the piano guy? Did he die? I don't know. Do we have anyone, a new... anyone, who, who's supposed to call piano guy? Wait, do we not let piano guy, did we not move him to the new studio? I don't know. Did, <laughs> did you not let piano guy know? Is, piano guy is not my responsibility. Is he I a, have a list, if you recall. If he's still at Terabella, that's, that's very he's dead. For him. He's yeah. dead. He's, okay, if he's still there. I, I, I've been feeding him. I have. I no. He, <laughs> let's hope. Let's hope he made it. Let's hope piano guy made it. Okay, piano guy. Piano guy. Tours for the guy from the Eagles. You know the guy. No, no, I don't. No, no. <laughs> If you say Don, band and then you say you know the guy, you know the answer is no. Don Felder. Don, yeah, I did not Piano know guy. that. But you do know about our first topic, ABBA. I do know a little bit about ABBA. Now, you once told me that ABBA is your favorite band. Is it's that right? It's certainly among my most favorite bands, yes. Okay. Did you hear the news? Yeah. Or you, you gotta, if you ask that, it's then what news? Did I hear the news that they're coming out with a new album? Did I hear the news that they've released two songs already from that album? Did I hear the news that they're having a show next year in London from, uh, I think, March to September? Which piece of news are you asking if I heard? All of those things. Oh, I heard so all yes, of those things. You've heard all yes, those things. I heard all of those things. Well, that is fantastic. I also heard that they're still very friendly in spite of the fact that, like, they divorced each other 30 years ago. But they divorced each other like two years or more before they stopped being a band. Well, 
like two years and one year. Okay, because different times. Like yeah. one in 79 and one in 81. I don't want to go into too many details like I'm a, I'm a stalker or anything. Uh -huh. You heard the two new songs? I, I, heard, I listened to both of them. What did you think? Um, I liked them both. Neither of them are my favorite ABBA song. I need to listen to them about a thousand more times before <laughs> I could say that. I heard, I heard one of them. I heard the one that starts off soft, and then like a third of the way through, they drop beat. Yeah. You know which one that is? Yes, I do know which one that okay. is. Okay, because the other one, I don't know what that is. If they both drop the beat a third of the way through, I don't no, know No, no, the other is. one is more consistent. Okay. And I thought it was, it was pretty good. Yeah, yeah, it was good, yeah. I'll have to hear it some more times, too. Yeah. But, like, if I just heard that on the radio, I'd go, well, that's a band trying to sound a little bit like ABBA. Yeah. Were you surprised? Like, did, did anyone see this coming, or have we heard rumors? No, like truthfully, this? like, every couple months, I still have to check is anyone from ABBA dead? Because no. that's how old they are, right? It could have happened, and I could have been not paying attention to the news that day, and then later I'd be sad. They must be like in their 70s now, right? I guess? Yes. Okay. Um, like they, some of them started playing music in their mid-teens in the late 50s. <laughs> okay. In my dad's age. Jeez. Wow. <laughs> what? What did your dad do to achieve worldwide stardom? No, no. They're my dad's age, not my dad's. Yeah, I'm just partner. asking. Yeah, my dad didn't do anything like that. No. Sure, no. Um, are they going on tour, or what are they doing? There's this. I don't show. think in any real sense you could say they're going on tour, because they're not leaving home. <laughs> like there will be an ABBA performance in London, and they won't be at it. Because it's. Explain this to me. Yeah. Uh, details are a little thin, but apparently they have hired some CGI wizards and they have done motion capture of the four members of ABBA uh -huh. in the little suits with the balls all over them, I saw just pictures. like when yeah. they did Gollum for the Lord of the Rings and the Hobbit movies. Mm -hmm. And industrial magic wizards are going to create a music show out of the motion capture performance of the four members of ABBA. So the Ma ABBA members themselves won't be on stage. They won't be there. There will be musicians in the building who will play the music for ABBA, and presumably they have recorded the music. And so you'll oh. be watching... It's like a Britney Spears concert. You won't actually be oh, hearing I... Britney Spears sing or ABBA sing. I, hashtag free Britney. Hashtag <laughs> leave Britney alone. Um, no, I, told they, they... I would have picked a different uh, teen sensation who frequently lip-synced to the her own songs. only one I know that was it like lip-syncs at Andrea concerts. Grande. Like so, someone else did it on SNL. I'm not hip and young. I don't know who these names Neither are. Neither am I. And I, know someone, like 2000s, I know someone 90s. got told you are never allowed on SNL again because you are faking singing. That was a Jessica Simpson, right? Yeah, it was one. That wasn't just. I think it was like a sister. Ashley Simpson could be a Simpson of some kind. Not OJ Simpson. Not OJ. That's no. a different person altogether. No, that's he's OJ murdered people. He can't sing. Ashley faked singing on TV. Okay. Live, live on TV, except for the West Coast where it's delayed. <laughs> so it's Abba's going to be a hologram. I don't think there could be a hologram. Not I think, a hologram. I think the early news stories might have said hologram. But apparently they have said it's not a hologram. I'm guessing it's going to be more like projection on scrims or something. So that they, because hologram, first of all, there are no holograms. I heard that's how Tupac came back. I think that also was like a projection with lasers on a scrim of some sort. Yeah, yeah. Well, when we say hologram, do we mean the Tupac thing, or is that like a technology that we have in our heads? So I don't think exist? we can do moving holograms, because I think holograms are you take an image through a piece of film uh, with a prism, and then when you, ref when you shine a laser through it, mm -hmm. uh, the reverse prism you know, creates troughs and peaks in the light, and you get what seems to be something there, but we can't make those troughs and peak, we can't make that physical film move. Okay. So we can't make a moving hologram that I know of. All right, so we're going to see. We're um, going to see something. A movie. And a video. by we, I mean I'm not going to go to London to see it, and I don't think <laughs> you are. 
So we'll yeah. we'll see, you know, 30 seconds of it on Entertainment Tonight some week. If they toured San Francisco, I'd, maybe I'd see it. Uh, yeah, I might go see them. Yeah. Have you seen the ABBA cover bands that come through sometimes? Uh, we saw one ABBA cover band up in San Francisco maybe 10 years ago. I saw an ABBA cover band maybe four years ago at Mountain Winery. Okay. I forget the name of it, but they... Yeah, acted they, like ABBA. Yeah, played ABBA songs. Yeah, that's exactly they what it was. It was great. it was just like ABBA, except uh, the weed was stronger, <laughs> and there was less free love. You know, I think these tribute bands sometimes it's better to see a tribute band than the real band, and I tell it's, you why. It's a lot cheaper. I saw Fleetwood Mask. Fleetwood, okay. Fleetwood Mac. Yes, I band. guessed that. You from figured the name. that out. <laughs> yeah. Okay. Um, and it was cheaper. Cheaper, yes. Um, you could sit closer. And you could stand, like, in the crowd and be closer to it. Yeah, exactly. Yeah, yeah. Like, Fleetwood Mac plays stadiums. No. Yeah. Fleetwood Mask plays clubs. Yeah. And so you're more into the music. And sure. The Fleetwood Mask I saw was very convincing. Like, you could tell this guy is a Lindsay Buckingham character. Okay, well, not anymore, because they fired Lindsay oh, yeah. Buckingham. And this. Why do I know more about music than you? No, no, I know all this too. <laughs> okay. I know this too. They hired a guy from you would have, Crowded should, House. Shouldn't you have said Stevie Nicks look alike? I mean, she's the one people go to Fleetwood well, Mac to see. Time no I one goes to Fleetwood Mac to go, oh man, I just love Lindsay Buck. Like Lindsay Buck, how many kids don't he's go good. to Fleetwood Mac he's to good. watch Lindsay? No, no. The time I saw. Oh, yeah, Fleetwood he's, he's a great musician. I agree with you on that. The time I saw Fleetwood Mass was the time yeah. when Lindsay Fleetwood Buckingham Fleetwood Mass could was still actually in the band. get Lindsay Buckingham. Like he he should do that. They had uh, the Mick Fleetwood do an intro. Mick Fleetwood. Mick Fleetwood did an intro to the Fleetwood Mass concert, saying, "This is great. These guys are wonderful. I love them. They're okay. keeping our music alive." Sure. Yeah. Anyway, it's a great show, and the people dressed and looked just like who they were impersonating. That's yeah. That's that's my ABBA experience as well. Yeah. My ABBA cover band experience as well. What is your favorite ABBA song? I don't know. You, I mean, I got a couple. I'll tell you mine. Voulez-vous. Voulez-vous is one of mine. Uh -huh. uh, I like uh, Our Last Summer is a nice... I don't even know that one. Uh, that was, was that like an album? I'm type? Dancing Queen. Dancing no, no, Queen. no. The, the, our Last Summer was... I don't think it was even on a Greatest Hits album. Yeah, I don't think it was. But you think it's like a, um, a minor hit? Or? Yeah, yeah, it was yeah. popular. Oh, I'll, I'll um, Dancing that. Queen is good. Waterloo is yeah. good. Um, and I have four or five ABBA songs on my jogging playlist that come up. Uh-huh. Okay. So they're not singing. Ring Ring it'll is be like, interesting every once in a while. It'll be pre-recorded vocals. Well, maybe they're using the computer AI to like auto-generate their voices and shit. <laughs> Like auto tune on steroids. Sure. Yeah. You know, sound like Fred. That. You know Fred on the Macintosh. Yes, I remember Fred. I bought a CD, and the, the dance music CD. Okay. And every song was voiced by Fred by or Fred? Victoria. Not Bubbles. Not Bubbles. No. Okay. It was Victoria. Victoria or, or Fred. Fred. Yeah. I on the whole CD. I at Apple, I had the office next to the woman whose job was to clip phonomes out of the guy who recorded Apple's original audio for voice. So for months, all I heard was tiny snippets of words over and over and over again, except she usually had headphones on. Okay. I think I know who that was. Yeah, yeah. All right, well, that's ABBA. Yeah, time's up, everyone. We didn't get any topics. Let's see if we got any more tweets. Ooh, we got tweets. We people, did. People are watching. People are watching live. We have tweets. Everyone has tweets, John. Scott Kamaster it's not, it's says, not as, it's I believe they're called avatars. So I guess if we see that That's what they've said to call them, but no, I'm not going to do that. <laughs> like, you can't just make up words for you on a screen. This, like, this mm -hmm. would be a Keith Atar. ABBA must be down to the last 100 million. I heard in the recent past, let's say 10 years, they turned down $1 billion to go on tour, reform and tour. They turned That's down a lot of money. I it heard is. in the 90s there was a scandal in Sweden because the people from ABBA were getting welfare. Because they had no income? Uh, because they turned like 65. And oh. in Sweden, when you turn 65, you start getting the their equivalent of Social Security. Well, here. And there was a big scandal. They were like, these people are billionaires. Why are we giving them money? And the government was like, we give everyone money. That's how it works. Yeah. You pay into the system. We pay you when you're old. When I turn 65, I'm going to get money from this country. I don't think right. so. Well, I want to get my... 
So because you're younger than me, I and Social it. Security for me doesn't start till 67 and a half. Because of fucking Reagan. Have they changed it? Yeah, they, they changed it a long time ago. Really? Where have they I been? changed it in the 80s. Like, it, it slides forward every... I'll get my Canadian Social Security for two and a half years, and then the U.S. will kick in. I don't think you're going to get the Canadian one. Why wouldn't I? I? Well, what are the odds Canada's still around in like 10 <laughs> or 15 years? <laughs> Better chance in this country. Well, we don't have our capital being overrun by no. insurrectionists. Well, not yet. I, not I yet. Have, we have an election going on. Canada's an election for a new prime minister. You keep saying we, but you're an American. Like, can you I'm vote? A Canadian can too. you vote in this Canadian election? No, but I have a, <laughs> but I have a Canadian then, passport. Then you're not a Canadian. I got a Canadian it's passport. It's not we. It's not a we election if you can't vote. Oh, Scott is alive. He's alive because his calendar says September 9th. Well, I know he's alive. I saw him like a month ago. Like, oh. you don't know how much we mocked you from that row we were in during your no. play? No, I don't know if you mocked me. No, but we, I had my phone on record the whole time. So oh, really? someday I'll play it for you. Okay. All right. Moving on. Our next topic, abortion in Texas. Oh, we found the piano guy. We, we called him. We, we rescued the, the piano, piano guy. guy. Yeah. They loaded him into the truck and brought him over. What's... We should we should check on him. Like we should we should ask. Like what have you been doing for the last eighteen months? Timothy. Like, Timothy Drury. Timothy. Are you doing okay? That's the guy who wrote who played yeah, that. Yeah, I've seen him post on Facebook a couple times. Oh, you have? Yeah. Yeah. He's not real. Yeah, we're we're great friends. Great friends. I oh. think one of him about, and I are just regular one of friends. roughly five thousand. Okay. What is this new abortion law in Texas I'm hearing about? As God is my witness, do you actually want to know about this? This is the news. We, we could go back and talk about ABBA for another. <laughs> uh, I, didn't, I didn't start a clock, so I'm going to guess we're like four minutes into the show. But I think we could talk about ABBA for another 24 minutes. And everyone <laughs> watching, and I mean everyone, would be happy. But I can't. I can't talk 24 okay. minutes about ABBA. Okay. It's not like in excess. We, we could talk about in excess for 24 <laughs> minutes. All right, all right. Who's a bigger band in Australia, ABBA or in excess? Probably in excess. Tough question, isn't it? In excess, they are still in excess. Are still in the top fifty selling albums. Yes, yes. But today. I looked it. But I think when I looked it up, ABBA had made more money in Australia than in excess. Well, we're talking about now. I'm not talking about the time you looked up or over. No, I'm time. talking like over their history. I, I couldn't say. In excess, we're big Texas. in Australia. Texas, huh? Texas. What did they? What's this new law about? I've heard. It's fucking Texas. Nah, I know, right? They were trying to be the new Florida, aren't they? Like, Florida well, is getting all this publicity for doing all this crazy shit. That shit crazy in yeah. Texas up It's like, there. hold my Lone Star neck beer. Let me show you what we can do. Okay. We can stop the voting. It's, 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 it's Lone Star State. Lone Star State. Long neck beer. Long neck. Because the, <laughs> the top part of the bottle is large enough for your hand to reach oh. around. And that way, your hand isn't warming up the beer. You're just holding on to the glass. I don't drink beer, so I don't know all these fancy terms. Uh, okay, Texas. 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 Mm. They recently uh, passed a law uh, which makes it uh, a crime for anyone to perform or assist uh, an abortion past six weeks. Past six roughly weeks? six weeks. No one knows past they're pregnant yet at six nominally weeks. Nominally, the point where they can detect what they call a fetal heartbeat. Okay. But six week old fetuses don't have hearts. They don't have circulatory systems. They don't have blood yet. Right. They have a small collection of cells which have started to have the electric rhythm that we Vibrate. eventually call a heartbeat, but it's not it's not pumping anything. It's not beating. It's just uh, but they have defined this particular point in time as after that uh, you may no longer aid or assist an abortion. Now is so it, is it a crime to do an abortion? Or they uh, it it's a crime to perform an abortion or to assist an abortion. It's not a crime to have an abortion. So the, the lady having so the, the abortion. So the person who is pregnant mm -hmm. is cannot be prosecuted. Okay. But the, the doctor, doctor may or any other 
medical person in the room who assists. What if it's not a doctor? What if it's a, this is what I heard happened in the old days. Guys in alleys with coat hangers, would they, would that be a criminal act? Too? We would if it was after six weeks. Okay. Because it's not who does it, it's the act of doing it that they it's have not, defined as a crime. It's not how you do it. Now, I say crime, it's not a crime punishable by imprisonment by the state. It's a civil case. You can, s anyone yeah, in good. theory can sue anyone who aids or assists an abortion and receive $10,000 or more and whatever their legal costs are if a court finds they did or aided in the performance of an abortion so, in Texas. If someone aids in an abortion, every citizen of Texas gets $10,000. No, it, it's one per. One they per? did add that. It's, 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 it's one per abortion. Oh. You can't get... So you've got to run in there you and gotta get, you got to get first. your case first. Yeah, okay. yeah. there's going to be a... It's going to be a land grab, uh -huh. except it's uteruses. <laughs> yeah, it's a uterus grab. And pregnant people. Uh -huh. So it's a pregnant person grab. Okay. Formerly pregnant person grab. Now, you said it's not a criminal crime. It's a civil crime. It's, it, it's, it's a civil matter, uh, which they did very intentionally to try. I mean, they the entire law was crafted to try to entirely avoid the Roe v. Wade decision from 1973, so, 1971, whenever it was. 73, yeah. Uh, which says women have a right to uh, an abortion up until the point where the fetus is viable, which is generally around six months. On our first episode. Wow, you, told you remember me. the first episode. Oh, you, this I remember. Okay. First episode. You told me Roe v. Wade, Roe v. Wade. was when the Harvard rowing team, Harvard rowing they'd team. be rowing, and if a guy yes. fell off got into the off. water, he river, he'd be back. wading. Yeah. And you said, that's what Roe v. Wade that's, was. That's entirely what Roe v. Wade was. Okay. <laughs> but again, um, our first episode was before 1973. And then in 1973, uh, Norman Roe, uh, you know, filed suit against the uh, Attorney General of Texas, I think. Uh, something Wade? Wade. Okay. Oh, so Roe v. Wade started in Texas. Is what you're telling me? Oh, did it start in Texas? Well, you just said that. I Is do that think I said that, and I do think it started in Texas, but I'm no longer certain of that. Okay, so the U.S. Supreme Court looked at this. Now, did they look at it, or did they decline to look so at it? So very, uh, so this law passed um, some months ago. Uh, in Texas, uh, and it took effect, I believe, September 1st. Uh -huh. um, and many states over the years have passed laws uh, restricting abortion or restricting abortion clinics or restricting who can perform abortion or how wide the hallways have to be in places you might perform abortions, yada, yada, yada. Um, and in almost all of the cases for the last 50 years, um, before these laws take effect, uh, they get to a state or federal court, which looks at them and says, this is a blatant uh, infringement mm -hmm. upon the constitutional rights. And so they, you know, suspend the law or they eventually declare the law, the law cannot be enforced. Okay. Um, and so there are, pa you know, there are thousands of pages of these laws probably on the books in different states, all of which cannot be enforced because the courts have said they're not constitutional. Everyone, not everyone. Most people expected that, uh, you know, a federal district court in Texas or the Supreme Court, uh, when they got it, would look at this law and say, uh, this too is a blatant attempt to circumvent uh, the rights of women to get abortions uh, before roughly the six month period in time. Uh, and they would say, you, that law is unconstitutional. You can't enforce that law. And then it wouldn't matter. Texas passed under the crazy abortion law. It can't be enforced. No one cares. Uh, the Supreme Court got this request to consider this law, and the Supreme Court declined uh, to step in before the law took effect and say, you can't enforce this law. It's unconstitutional. So they, they didn't they rule to... on it. They just declined okay. to stay it. 
Does this mean that there's still a chance that they will hear it? Does uh, have to bring there it? is still a chance they will hear it. Okay. Um, and this kind of comes back to how the law was written. It is written so that it is very difficult for you to go to court and say, I would like, I would like an injunction against this law because generally you would get an injunction against the state of Texas to say you can't enforce this law. But they wrote the law to say no person who is part of the state government of Texas can enforce this law. So you can't stay us from enforcing the law. The law doesn't let us enforce it. It lets everyone else enforce it. So in some sense, the Supreme Court would have had to say, we are injuncting everyone in America against, enfor against using this law. So they won't stop a abortion provider from performing abortions, but they'll allow civil cases against that provider. Um, yes, I don't, so I, I, I don't know what has happened yet. If the provider charges $11,000 for an abortion and they're fined 10000 they plus, just keep on doing this forever. Plus the legal fees of the person who brought the court case which can easily be much more oh, than $10,000. And the law says a $10,000 minimum. Uh -huh. A judge is free to impose whatever penalty he wants as long as it's $10,000 or more, is what the law says. Mm -hmm. So the judge could say, you charge $11,000 for this abortion. I'm going, to, I'm going to grant the plaintiffs, the people that sued you, $110,000. Oh, that is to, no longer economically you. viable. Uh, well, it's not, it's not economically viable at $11,000 because people don't pay $11,000 for abortions. I don't know what they cost. What do they cost? Um, with health insurance, uh -huh. they probably cost your deductible plus your copay, probably on the order of many hundreds of dollars. Okay. Um, the uh, abortion pill, probably cheaper than that. Uh -huh. um, they're... I mean, during COVID, they allowed people to get the abortion pill by mail, talk to a doctor over uh, a Zoom call, be prescribed the abortion pill, they mail it to you, you take the first pill, you wait Did three days, you take the second Texas pill. Texas get the abortion pill? Uh, it was nationwide. Uh -huh. uh, that law expired, so uh -huh. that's no longer in effect. And Texas says, if you mail someone in Texas the abortion pill, People that mailed the person in Texas the abortion bill can be sued for $10,000 or more. What if they're not in Texas? That's a great question, which the courts will eventually have <laughs> to rule on, because the law is very unclear on who this applies to. Like, if someone is in Texas, wants an abortion, let's say they go next door to New Mexico and get the abortion. Um, so again, the person getting the abortion can't be charged at all. Okay. Presumably, anyone who aided them in leaving Texas to go to New Mexico, including anyone who produced a list of abortion clinics in New Mexico, mm. or who told them gate 17 is down to the left, or drove them from their home to the airport. Uh, all of those people in some sense have aided in the- Okay, so let's say I'm in Texas and my friend Sonia, you know Sonia. I do know Sonia. Texas. Yeah. She calls me up and says, John, I need a ride to New Mexico. Yes. And I don't ask any questions. You don't. Cause anybody that's ever, the kind of guy you are. If anyone asks me for a ride to New Mexico, Look, the show's over. I'm going to New Mexico. Can I be then? You can, yeah, because the, law, don't says, know what the law says it doesn't matter whether you know or not. Oh, so we can sue every hotel they've ever stayed at. We can sue no, that, Greyhound that bus line. They, they stay that during the process. Like, you can't go back four years and go, you stayed at a Holiday Inn. And as I understand, people who stay at a Holiday Inn are smart. And you got an abortion, so now we're suing you. Okay. So there's still a chance this will be uh Oh, this is going to be a disaster. And like, lots of other states are going to try and do the same.